All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here on the review table. It's been a while since I've done a review. Might be a little rusty, but boy, we're going to knock the dust off and try to do what we can. RTS Tactical. Been a really good partner of the channel. I've done some uh, reviews on their ballistic shields, their uh, ceramic plates, uh, level three plates. There's some other stuff out there that, that are really, really nice. Well, in any case, they sent these things out. This is their new addition to their lineup, the, uh, their IFAC. The IFAC is only as good as the user. So if you can do one thing in your life, at least at a minimum, go out and get some first aid training. American Red Cross, they do a great job. And one of the biggest additions to the free world that have saved more lives and more soldiers than anything in the entire world is the issuing of these tourniquets. They're there are two different makes right here. This is the IFAC Mini. This is their uh, blood, what do you call this thing? The bleed pouch, uh, stop bleed pouch. Okay, and then this one is the IFAC. Now, we're just going to do a two-part series. This is part one. We're going to do it on this guy right here, and this guy we're going to do tomorrow. So here we go. Uh, first of all, hey, happy Thanksgiving to those individuals who uh, do observe Turkey Day. I'll be working, unfortunately. We're going to be uh, working with a bunch of people out and about. From front to back, and we'll start at the very beginning, let's talk about this RTS Tactical IFAC Mini. is your unwavering companion, embodying preparedness in its most compact form, sized, right, for everyday carry. And the reason I say everyday carry, uh, not only that, but they mention it, is that this is my belt. This is what I use when I'm out and about. And uh, on the back, you have the uh, Molly webbing attachments. This is pretty cool little, this is new to me. I haven't seen this stuff. Uh, I'm used to the old Molly webbing, but this is pretty neat. And one of the cool things is, is it does have what, you just put this through there, you attach it in any size over here, this little tab right here catches it and keeps it from un coming undone. This technology, I mean, I'm like I said, I've been out of the game for a little while, so this is all new to me. So in any case, you got a whole bunch of different sizes back here that you can go ahead and set that up for wearing. Um, this is a really cool deal prepared for any emergency with our advanced medical kit designed with the state of the art components for field readiness. One of the things you can buy backups for pretty much anything that goes into this guy. All right. But this is what's going to happen. This thing's going to go on the very back of right here. Uh, the only difference is, is sometimes I'll put some mags back here that actually clip onto the belt. So I got to leave enough room. So this guy is going to go right about here, which is perfect because it won't interfere with my pistol. Continuing on in the field of emergencies, every moment is crucial to be equipped to act swiftly, confidently, whether it's saving a teammate's life or your own. That thing right there. All right, so the nice thing is you can actually order up to three different. You got the SWAT tourniquet, the CAT tourniquet, and the SOF tourniquet. This thing comes with Israeli trauma bandage, vacuum sealed uh, Z-Pack gauze, two vented hyphen mini chest seals, hypoallergenic neutral gloves, RTS IFAC pouch. And that's what you're paying for here, guys, because <laughs> as with any good equipment, this thing is uh, $159.99. Yeah, I know, very expensive. And you could probably put together a kit, but what you're not getting is you're not getting the cool features that you see here. Uh, this sits on the back of your pouch, on your belt. Now, if you're wondering, what do you do? Ambidextrous, if you're left-handed or right-handed, one of the things you wanna be able to do is get to it quickly. The nice thing is, is you can rip this apart, and usually what I'll do with these guys is I'll go ahead and pull all this stuff apart and make it ready and put it back in this thing, because the last thing I wanna do is be messing with anything. I want this guy to go smooth and clean. This is nice. It's a lot nicer than what I had. So anyway, get it like that. You go ahead and tighten that bad boy up, and you're not bleeding to death. And again, guys, this is this helicopters and just medical training in general has saved more guys than anything you ever know. All right, so you stop the bleeding. Uh, you got your tourniquet on there. You wrap that thing around your leg, and you're reaching back from left hand to right hand. And this is the trick. This thing pulls out just like that. One of the ideal situations, and we'll talk about this with the big one right here tomorrow, is that uh, you can throw this to someone. You got this on yourself or somebody else. You can go ahead and push this out, punch this out to somebody, get it taken care of, and tighten it up. And then what we're going to do is you're going to take the red pouch right here and yank it open. All right, so we got this thing open. The first thing we're going to find is the ER. This is the Ever Ready First Aid Compressed Gauze. You're going to need that. Uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the emergency bandage. It's really bandage, I believe. This is a pretty good invention right here. Uh, next thing, this is actually really important. 
is a couple of these guys right here. This is your two of your sucking chest wound deals. Um, all right, I'll tell you a little story about this. We'll probably tell you again tomorrow. My brother, Ranger Joe, uh, third Ranger Battalion, jumped into Rio Hato, uh, platoon leader, and a drill sergeant. Believe it or not, his guys didn't even know he was a drill sergeant until he came out in his class days. I sent him this. He had a bad open cut that literally went down to one of his arteries. And believe it or not, I sent him this and a tourniquet kit. This saved his life. So that's it. Uh, some gloves. All right. So that's it in a nutshell. But the cool thing is this bag, the technology behind the bag is what you're paying for. I'm probably going to supplement this thing with a lot of other cool items. You can leave this on your belt, <laughs> which is good because I hate putting molly webbing together. And bring this in. And we're going to put it back up and attach it. There you go. I'm going to make that tourniquet a little bit more filled expedient and wrap it up. I do have a fun time spent with a couple of guys. Uh, 10th Mount Division coming up. The guys from 3rd Bat are going to come and hang out at the house. We're going to drink some beer, do some barbecue, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But I got myself a new hat, as always. <laughs> Thank God. End them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. That's a nice tourniquet. Y'all be good.